So in my first Art of the Mentally Ill video, I showed a painting of something that I like to call greed because there was a point in my life where I was going through a psychotic episode and I saw this embodiment of what I thought could be greed because its color was orange. This is an example of what it looked like to me and my impaired, not that good, pretty shitty art skills are. And this is a much more accurate representation of what I saw. See, I'm not that good when it comes to portraying something that is very hard to paint. I mean, imagine you're looking at a fracture in the reality of space-time and it is bubbling and swirling and turning and churning in a way that you can't really properly portray. But I did find something that is a lot similar to it and that's the image that you see here. <laughs> It is something that didn't necessarily look like a bunch of eyeballs thrown together, but the ways that it did turn and turn and move kind of did look like eyeballs. But if you don't know anything about me, hi, I'm Eusebius and I suffer from a psychotic mental disorder, which means that I have external stimuli that are not based in reality and I also have something known as negative symptoms, where symptoms are taken away in my life. So that could be lack of motivation or depression and positive symptoms would be the hallucinations and stuff like that. More examples of negative symptoms are, uh, like I said, lack of motivation, but also cognitive distortions. Um, you have a much harder time thinking and stripping thoughts together because at the same time they're racing, but at the same time they're incredibly, incredibly slow. It's a weird way of describing it, but it really takes one to understand what it was like. So this image that I wanted to show you, that is something that personally to me struck out as interesting because when it comes down to it i've had people in my comments saying oh you're christian which means that you praise prophets that are psychotic and you are stupid for believing in psychotic people's illnesses when you yourself know how dubious psychosis can be so i get comments like that and i think to myself it's like okay if people in the bible were really psychotic there would be much more evidence because psychosis isn't something that just happens once in your life unless it's drug induced and even when it's drug induced it can continue on for an extended period of time and something that i wanted to preface this all with is i am not that good at art like i said before i'm not that good at art so my painting that describes what i saw isn't very realistic i want to say same thing goes for a lot of my other paintings when it came to Art of the Mentally Ill. A lot of my paintings were cartoonish, and I do recognize that, but it's just that I lack the artistic ability to create something that looks precisely like what I saw. And that's why it was so interesting when I saw this photo of a DMT trip simulation, I think it was. I think it was DMT. Not exactly sure, but it's similar to the angel that I saw that one day in church. If you see my DMT Angels vs Psychotic Angels, go check that out. It's on my channel somewhere, pretty popular, which is why I'm doing more of them. <laughs> but it's something that I wanted to be able to elaborately explain, right? Because when it came down to it, when I was seeing that, when I was seeing the, the, the corporeal, non- Okay, I'm looking for a lot of different words that I cannot really place right now. Essentially, I was looking at something that doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. And I was trying to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. And that's something that is very challenging when it comes to psychosis. In a similar way where I saw the heavens open, I saw this being, this hallucination, in a meeting with my therapist. And I was like, hey, just so you know, there's an orange thing bouncing off the walls all over turning and turning into different shapes and geographical patterns and stuff like that but when it came down to it it's a very similar situation to my whole dmt angel fiasco i want to say because when it came down to it i I've been, i'm saying that a lot i know i'm saying that a lot but regardless this is, my, this is gonna be my final point when it comes down to it, fuck, I said it again. When it comes down to, shut up. At the end of the day, <laughs> regardless, I digress. It is something that didn't necessarily fit in my perception of reality. 
it didn't fit because it looked like it was something that I couldn't possibly understand. And in a similar way that DMT angels look a lot like my psychotic psychosis induced angels, same thing with this. This DMT trip is very similar to my experiences with psychosis and that is something that I wanted to share with all of you. So if you want to hear more, leave a comment, leave a question, whatever it may be, go ahead, do it. I'm sure you'll love it. And uh, if you're in emergency, I have emergency links down below. If you're ever in need to talk to someone, I have crisis lines down there, crisis text lines, crisis call phone calls, whatever it may be. And if you want to talk to me, DM me. My social media is in the description below. So thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ahoy ho, malama pono.